um, and it's pretty crazy. But um, yeah, um, just a lot of panic going on in the world that I see. Um, we're seeing more objections uh, and everybody in the industry is, is seeing more objections on their sales calls. Uh, seeing just more hesitation uh, in general in the marketplace. And that's why I want to hop on this live uh, to show you how to mitigate that effect. And there, honestly and transparently, there's some crazy shit that's going on. Um, with over 2 million people are projected to file for unemployment this week. Um, and that's scary because then those people don't have an income. They don't have a job anymore. Um, and it's our time right now to take our power back and be able to make money online. Um, and to not just sit around and be like, this is the way that it is. And instead take control back and learn how to make money online um, and learn how to lead your tribe and learn how to have sales conversations and learn what to post uh, online. Um, and that's what I want to get into in this video. Uh, Fix my Facebook group episode number six uh, on what to post on your personal profile in your Facebook group because what you post, your content, is what drives sales. And I see a lot of people out there right now just screwing it up royally. Um, some people are just not posting the right stuff uh, and haven't been for a while. And some people are posting things and not acknowledging the current problem. Um, and yeah, and that's what I want to get into today. Uh, what we're posting, what we're doing to help. Um, this is one example of it, acknowledging what's going on and helping your audience being the leader of your tribe um, and doing everything you can to help them get through the current things that are going on in this world. So that's what we're going to get into today. And as always on these Fix My Facebook Group episodes, uh, put the link to your Facebook group down below um, and I will hop in there and edit it and uh, give you the tips, tricks, and um, strategies to maximize the profitability, engagement, uh, and, uh, and growth of your Facebook group. Um, if you don't have a Facebook group, you can still make a shit ton of money from your personal profile as well. So if you wanna put your profile link down below, I'd be more than happy to um, help you out with that as well, to show you how you can get more engagement um, and how you can make more money from your personal profile. So drop those links down below. We'll get into it. And I'm gonna show you first what we're posting through all of this. Let me see if I can get us on live. What's up, Joey? What's up, Daniel? Michelle, Daniel, what's up, guys? So first things first, you need to lead your tribe right now, whether that's on your personal profile or your Facebook group. And I did a pretty freaking epic training the other day on how you can generate sales opportunities right here. Even in this time, um, uh, we've done a little over $140,000 this month um, as a business. And I shared with you the five ways we're generating those sales opportunities. So if you want access to this, hop over to my personal profile after this video, watch this. It is so incredibly valuable. Um, but we're posting things like this. We're moving the free line. So what I mean by that is our free content is becoming vastly more valuable to build trust um, and build leadership with our audience um, so that uh, you guys are open to explore working together um, on a call with us. Um, and if you wanna hop on a call with us, 
uh, to show you how our clients are thriving in this situation right now. Um, uh, you can do that. Hashtag scale me down below and we'll get you on a call with one of our scaling strategists and uh, they'll walk you through what we're doing. If we're a good fit to work together, then um, uh, then they'll explore that with you. Um, but first things first, doing Facebook live trainings to really, really help your audience through this time, kind of what I'm doing here and what I did on my personal profile. Um, and then what I also recommend doing is putting out what I call truth seeds, which are simply these little posts that are true and that mitigate people's fears and mitigate the objections that you get on sales calls. So this is one, it's just a one liner or a two liner. This is the best time to be an online coach right now. Like it seriously is with so many people losing their job. I would not want to be a waiter or a waitress um, or, uh, or anything that has to do with like doing a gig. I wouldn't want to be, a musical artist right now trying to land gigs because you're not going to get them. But being an online coach, you make money from home online and there is a match, a, a mass amount of people's, bleh, a mass amount of people's attention is now going online. So think of what you can post on your personal profile or your Facebook group that overcomes objections and reduces fear for your audience. So post you on your personal profile or your Facebook group. It's simple, um, one-liner, gets mass engagement and overcomes fear and objections, right? So that's one thing you can do. Um, these trainings and also really diving into studying what happens during recessions and how uh, businesses or how people um, uh, come or, or end up on top after those recessions. So for example, uh, here's a post, you can dive into this on my personal profile. Feel free to learn from it and spread the word, share it or make it your own. But uh, going over certain amount of steps to session proof your business or to improve your life during these times, something like that. Um, so those are the big posts that you need to be putting out right now, um, especially with all this going on. But Augustine, Fire Brother, stay healthy and be safe, you too, man. But let's go into Fix My Facebook Group. So if you guys, Thomas, what's up, man? Uh, if you guys wanna drop your Facebook group link down below or your personal profile link, I will go in there, give it an audit, um, and give you little tips, tweaks uh, that you can do to generate sales, generate growth, generate uh, uh, engagement, all that good stuff. So drop them down below. What's up, 26 people? Um, we'll go into this one. Jack posted his Facebook group. Um, what's up, Emmy? Jack posted his Facebook group um, in the last episode, so I'll just go back to those. But if you guys have your Facebook group, those uh, group down below, um, those take priority over the old ones. But we'll start with Jack since nobody's dropped their Facebook group down below. Um, so digital marketing secrets for real estate agents. Um, solid name. Uh, I love that your face is in the banner. That's perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, you wanna have, um, I like how you have turn on notifications and how it's set up perfectly. Your banner looks great. So let's dive into this. When a student of training, boom, putting results in there is awesome. Get a lot of engagement and let's see. This is, oh, interesting. This was on February 12th. I'll be covering exactly what he is doing and how you can create a recession proof real estate business. Nice. That's awesome. Uh, really good. Um, showing proof. And you're talking about a masterclass. I don't know if this is a paid masterclass, but this would be a really good paid masterclass. So um, what I highly recommend everybody implement 
is doing paid masterclass during these times. So why is that? Um, paid masterclasses will get uh, higher quality leads. Um, uh, and well, now it's building your buyers list if they're paying for it. But um, they'll be more likely to become a buyer if you get them to buy a masterclass, low ticket masterclass, 47 to $97. And then you over deliver on that masterclass and then give a call to action to hop on a call with you, um, a sales call with you. I highly, highly, highly recommend doing uh, paid masterclasses, uh, doing a low ticket to get them in the door and then invite them to a sales call. Um, looks like you've been promoting in case you missed it. Just released a new masterclass on recession proofing. Awesome. Reminding them of it. This is great, Jack. Uh, what's your number one piece of advice? You help your fellow agents through uncertain times. You're speaking to the problems and getting them to share like a community. My recommendation is to reply to both of these. It's important that you reply to all your comments now. Um, deep in trust, deep in intimacy. That's what people are looking for right now. Who's doing virtual open houses? Jack, you're crushing it with speaking to the current issues. This is great. Let's see your new home office, share a photo. We wanna see more engagement there. Um, I would share, if these things aren't getting engagement, dude, share your photo down below. It'll encourage more engagement. Um, and also people will think about you. So I mention this all the time. If you're putting up, putting up a post saying, hey, what's your favorite podcast? or what's your favorite book or something simple like that, always answer uh, answer your question in the first comment. So what's if I post what's your favorite podcast, I would post in the comments, um, The Good Life Project. Uh, and then I can like add to it, like it's my favorite podcast because it's super inspiring, blah, 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 blah. But then when your audience start, uh, like looks up that podcast and starts listening to it and really, they're always thinking about you outside of the Facebook group, outside of all that, like you are staying top of mind. So always, always, always answer those questions. <laughs> Jack, I love it. That's exactly what I posted on my, uh, in my Facebook group. You're listening. I love it. This is great. Like, for everybody that's looking out there, like this is this looks like complex, right? It opens up so many loops for your audience when you can put up a post or or like this, or when somebody is scrolling through a PDF or something like that. There's so many freaking pages. It opens up a lot of loops for for your audience. So that's why you get so much engagement. So I love this post. That's perfect. Uh with everything that's going on right now, has this hysteria hurt your business? Yeah. Um, what I'd like to see more, dude, is interviews and Facebook Lives. Just when you're feeling it, like go live on Facebook. You need to get your face out there more, Jack. Yeah, that's the only thing you're missing. Your posts are really good. You just need to do more lives, man. Um, schedule a time every single week to do either an interview or a training. Um, and when you're just feeling it, go live. And let's see how your, your personal profile is. Digital Marketing Secrets, cool. Join the Facebook group. Yeah, and there aren't any, okay, here's one, but you shared it, so it's not gonna get much engagement. Yeah, Jack, the big thing is just, you need to go live more. It will definitely increase your conversion rates if you just do a Facebook Live. Um, Linda, what is up? Dave, what's up? Again, guys, if you want me to dive into your Facebook group, give you a little tips, tweaks, strategies to improve growth, engagement, monetization,
drop the link down below in the comments and I'll dive into that right now. Do, do, do my group. I'll do your group, Linda. Just pop it down below. Um, Patrick, what's up, man? Money mindset with Greg. Um, the titles to your Facebook lives are super important. Open up loops. Um, if you look at my interviews in the Facebook group, you'll get a good structure. Um, around how to uh, how to title your interviews. It's so important because like money mindset's good, but you need to open up more loops, make it more market -E. And <laughs> this is awesome. Let's see. Uh, that's somebody else's post. Too many links, man. I hate when people post links in my Facebook group. Yeah, it's really your your copy needs to open up more loops for the Facebook Lives and you have more on them. This is good though. Find the good. I'd like to see more questions in your Facebook group to build community. So kind of what Jack was doing uh, in his Facebook group. Um, you want really short questions, so let me show you what I mean. Mm -hmm. Like kind of frame it like this. This isn't a, a good question, but there are plenty in my Facebook group. Like this, this is a simple one. Are you a business coach looking to build out a team? What's been your experience thus far? Like simple questions to get people to talk about themselves. What's your favorite book? What's your favorite podcast? Those are really simple ones. You wanna build community. People love to talk about themselves. Allow them to talk about themselves. Super important. Linda, thank you. I would jump to your link next. Um, and then Patrick, also your Facebook group name is No Bueno. Um, we want to create a less generic name. So um, what are you selling? That's the main question. Um, and then your Facebook group name should attract your ideal client, right? So my Facebook group name, Seven Figure Business Scaling Secrets. We help businesses grow from zero to six figures and six figures to seven figures, right? So our core promise is, hey, you can do our programs, we'll help you grow past seven figures, right? Um, so that's why our Facebook group name is Seven Figure Business Secrets, because it's attracting our ideal client. Super important. Also, make sure you change up your banner. You make these like simple tweaks in your Facebook group, will grow. Two, two, two. Linda, it is your turn. Let's jump to your Facebook group. All right, Furiously Authentic with a K by Linda Hayes, exclusive Facebook group. Okay, um, Fearlessly Authentic. Uh, a group for spiritual and rule-breaking female coaches and experts who understand limitless abundance comes from being fearlessly authentic. So what are you helping them achieve? What's the very specific result inside of your programs? That's where you should start. And for your group name, you're going to want to change that as well to have keywords that attract your ideal clients. Um, so female coaches and experts. So that, that could be the very first part to your Facebook group name, uh, female coaches and experts, colon fearlessly authentic. 
think you can be more specific with the result that you're helping people achieve, Linda. Um, what's up, Nick? Oh, <laughs> that's his Facebook Live. Uh, Linda, welcoming people. Um, don't put a link in your post. That's why nobody saw this. Uh, face or link. Facebook doesn't want anybody to leave Facebook. So if you put a link in there, um, then your reach will be severely limited. Was the number one concern you have about your business? Um, yeah, I would just leave it at that. Um, again, don't put a link in your post. It will limit your reach. You want to put it in the comments. And you want to ask them to if they want the link. So like on this Facebook Live right here, Linda, if you want a free scaling strategy session with one of my uh, scaling strategists um, to show you how you can go from zero to six figures or six figures to seven figures, hashtag scale me down below and we'll get you over it so you can book that. That's how you want to do it um, in your posts and on your Facebook Lives. Sunday, what's everyone up to? I spent the evening yesterday. Cool. Um, don't share links like this. If somebody wants a link to something, have them comment down below if they want it. Post your favorite memes, okay. Cool. How many people? You have 32 people in here and you are posting a lot of content. So I recommend this to everybody. Don't open up your Facebook group until you have 150 pending members. Um, because it doesn't make sense to post in a group with only 32 people, like a free group of only 32 people, um, because you're not going to maximize your reach. Like this is this is really good. Long form posts, I love that on your personal profile. Uh, yeah, Linda, the main thing here, Linda, um, is that you need more people in your Facebook group. So let's see, how many friends do you have? You want to max out the number of friends you have. So the maximum amount you can have is 5,000. Um, and you do that, you build out awesome content on your personal profile, and then you can just put up a simple post, hey, who wants this thing? So this is how I move people from my personal profile to my Facebook group. Let me show you an example. It's as simple as this. Like. Don't overthink it. This. Hey, who hasn't gotten our simple three-step process to easily collect late or decline payments yet? Comment down below. And then you put this inside of the Facebook group. And then you send these people a link to your Facebook group. And then you'll get, you'll get 20, 30, 40 people in your Facebook group in one day that simple. So the main thing, Linda, um, for you, get 5,000 people on your personal profile, really, really build that up, um, post really good content on your personal profile, and then every so often make those types of posts to move them to your Facebook group. So I help coaches and experts crush five-figure months in my Fearlessly Authentic program. Um, you want your Facebook group name to be something along these lines. So your Facebook group name should give people what they, or um, people what they want, give people what they need. So sell people on the Facebook group name, which is just pretty much generic. Um, and then inside of your Facebook group, you can talk more about the Fearlessly Authentic program, right? 
Um, but yeah. This, oh, that's fantastic. Great way to add people to the group. Love it. Awesome. So let me know what uh, you're going to do, Linda. What are your action steps moving forward? Put them in the comments down below. If anybody else has a Facebook group, pop it down below. I can do one more quick one. Linda says, Facebook group name change coming up. Yes, thanks so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, homies. I don't see any more links. If you got any value out of this, um, hit that heart, hit that like. Uh, the more engagement we get, the more people we reach, the more people we can help. Um, and that's about it for this one. I'll do one uh, in the coming week here to help. If you need anything, pop into my messenger uh, and I'll see uh, what I can do to help you. Um, doors always open. Let me know what you need. I'll talk to you guys later.